So we've already made one video about a very basic web form, which if you want to see that, click, click the link on the left. And then we have the full version, which includes all the parts, with a link on the right. But if you just want to add some advanced features to your web form, here's how to do that. All right, so now that we have our Podio web form built, and it provides us a first name, last name, email address, phone number, and how can we help, we, how can we help you, uh, there's some advanced features we want to kind of add on to that. The first is the ability to be able to make status changes to this web form um, within this app. Um, so what we're basically going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to modify this template, and we're going to add in a couple fields um, above all this contact form. Um, and we'll call this status. And what we're also going to do is we're going to put on an assignee here. Make sure that's on workspace members so that we can assign somebody that's on our internal team and then uh, we're just going to hit done. So the great thing about a web form is if I come in here and I go back to the web form editing capabilities. If we scroll down here to the configuration and the choose the app fields, you'll notice that the status is unchecked. So I have the ability to have certain fields checked and certain fields not checked. So I can only have first name, last name, email address, phone number, and how can we help you show up on the web form and then internally inside of Podio I can have my own field show up so that I can make status changes, assign a person to this um, so that I can have that all happen on the back end. So let's go ahead and close that out and we'll do done and go back to that app. So now I have the ability of this testing web form that already just came in to go in and say that it's in progress and then I can assign myself um, and then I can add a comment, do whatever I need to do there. I can then take that a step further and make sure that a task is applied when this form comes in. That's the next step in making this an advanced web form, is making sure that people always know that something's happened here and it shows up in their task list. And the way we do that is by using a Podio workflow. So if you click on the wrench um, to adjust the app, um, if you scroll down, one of the last options is Manage Workflows. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. Um, and these are Podio's built-in workflows. Um, they do a very, very basic type of workflow, um, unlike Globiflow, which is pretty limitless with what you can do. Um, I mostly use the workflows for when an item is created. So a web form is a perfect example of that. If it's submitted and when it's created, I can go ahead and make a task. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a task here. And then I'm going to call this the contact form from. And here's the cool part. So if I do shift and then I get the at symbol, I can choose fields. So I can pick the first name, and then I'm going to sign this. Usually I would sign this to like the administrator. It's their job to look at this web form, make sure that it's a, a valid um, interest, and then they'll assign it to somebody else who then would call them and qualify them. So we'll set the due date. Here's the important thing. I always do today or current time now. Current time now means it's due like the day and the time that it comes in, so it immediately goes to red, um, which will put it at the very top of the list. Um, so I like to do that because I mean, this is important. Um, it's somebody reaching out to you, so you want to make sure it gets taken care of as quick as possible. And then you can add in some details. They submitted a form. Here are the details. I'm going to do an at, and then I can do. I can. What I can do is it's going to put in the text of how can we help you. So let's look to see how that all works. So let's go back to my web form. Now let's open up the web form itself. All right, so let's hit process. And let's go back to Podio. I've already started getting notifications that I now have a new web form. So let's go to that app there. All 
All right, so now I have two entries. So I have uh, this testing number two. And if I scroll down, there's a new task assigned to that. So new contact form from John. And the details, they submitted a form here are the details testing number two, which is the text that they wrote in that. So um, now as the admin, I can mark this off. I can go back to the item. Um, and I can say it's in progress. I'm going to go ahead and send John to take care of this. And I'm going to leave a comment that says, uh, this is a valid concern. John. Can't link myself, so I'm <laughs> just going to it. But I would link somebody and I'd say, um, please take care of it. So that's how you can take your web forms to the next level is making sure that they have internal fields um, like a status or assigned resource and uh, using the built-in workflows to make sure that whenever a web form comes in, a task is assigned for somebody to take care of that web form. That is some of the advanced features of doing Podio web forms. If you want to see the full version of all the web form videos, click the link on your screen. As always, we love your feedback, so if you have anything good or bad to say about this video, please go to feedback.focological.com. You'll see the link on your screen. Um, we also do free 30-minute consultations. Uh, we love hearing about how you use Podio, how you want to use Podio, um, and just kind of filling your mind with some of our knowledge and suggestions for how to grow your business using Podio. So uh, if you're interested in that, please go to consult.focological.com. Um, we also like to hear if you have any video suggestions for this uh, type of video tutorials on YouTube um, that you can submit at video.focological.com. And finally, we do pre-built Podio solutions, including automations that we sell for a fixed fee price. Uh, if that sounds intriguing to you, check those out at podiosolution.focological.com. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you want more videos, and we'll be talking to you soon.